Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the NVIDIA driver keeps crashing in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to reinstall the NVIDIA driver. To do this, right click the Windows button and select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in the Device Manager window make sure to expand Display Adapters by double clicking on it and afterwards right click on the NVIDIA problematic device and select the Properties option. Now in this Properties window make sure to click on the Driver tab and as you can see you have in here multiple buttons and options to click on. The first one you can take in consideration is to update the driver, so click on the update driver button and in here click on search automatically for drivers. Now Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. Otherwise you can also roll back the driver if the device fails after updating the driver. You can roll it back to the previously installed driver. And if that step doesn't work properly either you can also uninstall the device. So click on the uninstall device button and in here now check the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device. Lastly just confirm by pressing on the uninstall button and then restart your PC. You will see that after restarting your PC the Nvidia driver will be automatically reinstalled. Another useful solution is to download the Nvidia driver from the official website and install it. Firstly, let's find out what type of graphics card you have from NVIDIA. So to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type DXDAC. Then click on the search results based as a run command. Now in the DirectX Diagnostic tool, click on the Display tab. And as you can see, under the Device section, you have the name of your NVIDIA graphic card. In my case, it's the GeForce 2060. Now just take note of the card that you have, keep it in your mind and then access your browser and access the link that I posted in the description below. And as you can see this is the official NVIDIA website for driver downloads. What you have to do in here is simply fiddle with the drop down menus next to product type and product series and you have to find the graphics card that you own to download the latest driver. In my case I already found the driver that I needed and the last thing you have to do is simply click on the green search button. As you can see, the driver is already in here ready for download, so click on the green download button, choose a destination for where the save should be located, then click on the save button. Now what you have to do is simply wait until the download will be finished and then access it to install it. The last thing you have to do is simply follow the on-screen instructions to install the drivers. This is super simple because the installation process happens automatically. You can also reconfigure settings in the NVIDIA control panel. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type NVIDIA. Now simply select NVIDIA control panel from the search results. In here, on the left panel, make sure to locate the 3D settings and then click on the Manage 3D settings option. Now in here, on the right side, you have a list of settings. So scroll down until you find the vertical sync and make sure to click the drop-down menu next to it and select the Off option. Also in here make sure that the power management mode is set to prefer maximum performance. So just click on it to open the drop down menu and select the prefer maximum performance option. Now the last thing you have to do is click on the apply button to save the changes, restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to uninstall the conflicting applications. To do this press the windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now in here just locate the conflicting application, click on the ellipses next to it and select the uninstall option. After uninstalling the application the last thing you have to do is simply restart your PC and then check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.